Hello everybody and welcome back to CK3 Extreme. Now we're still in the middle of preparing another war and that is against the well, Duchess. Now in that case here, she's gone though, she died, the Duchess, and we got now a Duke. And the cool thing about him is he's pretty young, he is only 13 and there's no alliance with him. So he's pretty weak um, and of course we want to use that in finally getting Strasbourg and thus completing our next duchy, the duchy of Alsace, right? That is the other big thing that we wanted for now. Um, another thing is that I also was looking at my, well, family tree and what we can see is first of all my second born son, Bonconte, he died quite some time ago. Um, but my first born, Vittorio, he is still active. And we are probably going to play as Vittorio, since he's 30, he's probably not going to die anymore from anything. So we're playing him, and he's already got two sons, or one son and one daughter actually. And Simon here, he's going to be our heir at some point, right? And that means um, that Simon, is, he's unmarried, and that means we should find him a wife or a spouse for now. Um, and also someone with a genius trait, because I want to get that genius trait into the family again. Um, in that case here, we do have three geniuses active right now, two very old ones and one very young one. Um, he, she is almost as old as he is, so that's a pretty good match, right? She's a genius, and we want to have that trait. So let's send out the proposal for that as well. Of course, it's not an alliance per se, but it's the genius trait after all. Um, so if I die, I play as Vittorio. If Vittorio dies, he plays as Simon, and Simon will hopefully have a wife by then that is a genius and has genius children. Once again, we are trying that. It wasn't very successful in the past, so in that case, let's try it again. Now, let's see, what else do we have? We can declare now a few wars. Um, we also have some powerful vassals to demand some council position. Well, this guy here, for example, but he's not really good at anything. And he doesn't like, uh, hate us that much anyway. So it should be fine, right? Let's go for war. Um, we are going against the Duchy of um, Lorraine, Upper Lorraine, that we have here. And we're going against him, Duke Jakku. Declare war. Seize the county of Strasbourg is our de jure claim, so it's not a claim that we fabricated, but it's because we are already having the duchy, and Strasbourg belongs to the duchy, so we have a claim on it automatically. And as we can see, he's vastly uh, inferior. It costs us a bit of prestige, but that's it. He's got no allies, we got three allies, and I think even then we could defeat him. So let's go against war with him. Declare war on him. Um, we're probably going to call in one of our allies, and that is, as usual, Bourbon, right? Because he's pretty strong, he's not at war with anyone right now. Let's also call him to war. Cost me a bit of prestige, but it's fine. And we're also going to raise all our armies. And there they're coming out. 1,500 proud soldiers that I have. And he's joining once again. Very good. We do have a superior quality army right now. Um, oh, greetings Duke Simon. Who's that? That is Vladislav from somewhere else. Your vassal mayor Philip has insulted me gravely. He had the audacity to name me a loathsome knave in front of my court. I demand satisfaction for this slight. Whatever it takes, Philip will plead for your forgiveness publicly or ha, good one Philip. Alright, Philip is one of our vassals and he's the one who doesn't like us that much. So this guy here, he's pretty weak as well. So let's just say ha, good one Philip. Right, because we do get some opinion then with our own vassal in that case. Um, let's just see. He's marching now into my terrain already. We have been burdened with the oppressive laws far too long. Who is that? That's a peasant revolt. And we could now grant them a tax. Um, I don't even know which county it is, though. We're done. Duke Simon. Nope, nope, nope. Monsieur Coffers dry up. Who is that? Where is he? Peasant revolt in... It's just a faction so far, I think. Let's grant them the tax. It's fine. It's not really that much. I think I lost 0 0.3 tax income or something like that. Where is he? There he is. And let's march towards him. And the faction has also been disbanded because of that. Very good. My oppressive laws, by the way. I don't even have oppressive laws. At least I hope not. Where's my ally? Bourbon. Oh, he's on the way already. Very good. Yep. Yeah, that wasn't very successful, was it? Marching back already, and we caught him up. We should win this one. But we're not. Oh yes, we are winning this one. Very good. We got the heavy or the armored footmen. They are so powerful, it's incredible. And he's got none of them. Only some light infantry, so that should really be a walk in the park. And thus we've won it. 
and let's march right to the next one. So my ally is going to claim Strasbourg, which is the goal, and I'm going to claim the capital of him, right? So if you have the capital and the claiming county or the county that you want to claim, it's basically a 100% once that happens. So he's got still 700 soldiers. I think he's going to march once again into my territory, but we should be faster um, getting those counties there for us. Uh, he's aborting. Because he wants to chase him. Doesn't matter. We're going to get it then anyway. Now, we do have an empty council position. Oh, my old, you know, the, the ugly guy. He died for some reasons. So let's just see what we could do. Um, oh, Maya Giovanna of Schwitz. She is my vassal as well. She doesn't like us. Um, so let's make her like us. Nine diplomacies. Yeah. Someone has 12. But let's go with her to make her happy. And I, I still wonder why my bishop is so strong. <laughs> it's, it's really incredible. He's pretty good there. My giant disfigured bishop. Alright, they're chasing here really now, each other. Defenders of the faith. There was a commotion among the children today. Vittorio was attempting to preach among his fellow youngsters. Oh, Vittorio, what's going on with you? My grandson. Thomas was furious that anyone could target someone attempting to speak on behalf of the Lord and chase away the other children. Alright, so both of them, they do have quite a brabble there and Thomas keeps the trades zealous. That's Marshall plus 2 and monthly piety plus 20% um, at the cost of some opinion of different faiths. Actually, that's not so bad. Alright, we're taking now the capital first and then I'm going with Strasbourg while my ally here is... Destroying him once again, even though, look at that. Amazing. They did a lot of damage there. I think he lost. Did he actually lose this one? No. Okay, he didn't. He was just badly wounded at that. We've taken the capital. Let's destroy his army there while it's still fleeing. So we can do this. There we have him. We caught them again. Oh, and it seems like... Oh, look at that. Okay, something changed. I've received an offer from Cecilia, a noblewoman from um, Chur. If the latter is to be believed, she is an experienced herbalist who would be willing to share her knowledge. Mm, we gained the trade herbalist. That gives us intrigue and learning plus two and a medium health boost. I'm all up for that. Um, I think he actually managed to get a mercenary army up there. Yep, someone joined the war, as far as I can see. So we might actually need to um, get another one into the war there as well. Klingenberg, pretty strong. Not at war with anyone. Let's call him to war there as well. Bombo has been defeated. Though I don't know if that's really... I think it was. Um, Cecilia and I are spending another late night. She's a dwarf, right? Yes. She said, well, we're spending another... I hope this is not going towards a romance here. Uh, spending another late night categorizing plants and brewing potions. I'm paging through one of her worn tomes when I discover a paragraph, which would make the priest froth at the mouth. I must delve deeper into this knowledge. We do get which secret. If she's keeping secrets, I will find out. This is an intrigue challenge, and we would reveal a witch secret, or we do get diligent student plus one learning. Let's go with that. Sounds like the best of the options there. Alright, we're still going for Strasbourg now, right? I don't know, perhaps he's just at war with someone else here. Because there's no alliance here with anyone, so I think there's there's nothing else happening. Your son Vittoria has taken great interest in my work as your spy master. Hmm, do we want her to groom him? Hmm... Or I will try to improve Vittorio's learning. You spend 75 prestige. We will see what happens. As long as you know what you're doing. She gets a weak hook on us. And she would become his mentor. She's got 16 intrigue. My Vittorio. Let's have a look at him. He's got 2 intrigue only. So he's not really good. Um, yeah. Let's, let's improve on that as well a bit. Can't hurt to have that in the future. Right, we're marching now to Strasbourg, getting it, and oh my goodness. Kingdom of Lotharingo is really destroying stuff here. Um, it's already bearing fruit. Oh, Vittoria has learned more than I dare to hope, and he's taking some of his future responsibilities more seriously now. 
Um, and he, both of them gain opinion and he gets two intrigue there as well. He's still pretty bad at intrigue though. But it's a start. Alright, we could imprison someone. You can call in your ally. I'm not doing that. We still have low control, but we are increasing control. It's just taking a bit of time. Let's just see. Um, the further I delve into my studies, the more apparent the link between mind and body becomes. Too much worry can make you sick, and the mind is no stronger than its vassal. I need a healthy outlet to cope with the strains of ruling. I've read about the benefits of vigorous movement as well as journaling to soothe frayed nerves. <laughs> Go for a run. We get 50% to become athletic or exercise. Spend the afternoon journaling. We get the trade journal, learning plus one. Oh, we take the entire day off. That's a bit of stress. Oh, all of them are stress release. Hmm. Let's go with Affleck. And we lose a bit of strength, uh, stress there as well. We're pretty close to a mental breakdown, by the way. We shouldn't get any more stress here. Absolutely unacceptable. Gersender burst into my chambers. Her face red with anger, yelling loud enough for the entire castle to hear her. Margaret has just insulted my honor. I demand that you cast that cloistered witch from our court. Okay, that's my courtier. Um, she's not being used for anything. Oh, what? It's the wife of my son. I cannot do that. I think you might be overreacting a bit. Or why do you not tell me everything from the start? And this would have an outcome. Yeah, let's try to get to the bottom of this. The more I hear about the story, the more I'm convinced that my wife is not telling me the truth. By the end of our discussion, I'm left with the distinct impression that Gersenda has fabricated the entire thing to smear Margaret. <laughs> um, I expect you to apologize to Margaret for this baseless accusation, right? My own wife, she likes us fair enough. Losing 20 opinion there is fine. Um, and we do actually get a bit of prestige, but I cannot insult the wife of my firstborn. All right, there we got Strasbourg. This war is still not over though. We're at 83% now. With her coming of age, my tuition of Valentina is at an end, and she gets the charismatic negotiator trait. Alright, we're still marching around here. We are at 86%, I mean, come on, we've won. Just give up now. And there we do have the 100%. Let's enforce our demands, get a bit of fame there in the process. The war is over. Strasbourg belongs now to us. Isn't that amazing? We now have gained the whole county here. Um, Emperor Richard is being attacked. Okay, doesn't matter for us. Um, Strasbourg is really powerful. So in that case, that's a huge city that we just got with 12 development. Right, so it also has some pastures in it and some wooden barracks already. So there is lots of structure in it that I don't even have to build myself. That is pretty cool. We might actually make Strasbourg our capital. I mean, it's pretty central here, right? I wanted to go towards the east, but it's impossible for now. Getting ahead, both Prince Archbishop Gillem of Lower Lorraine and I are held in esteem by our liege, King Leon. However, when it comes to handing out titles, honor and wealth, one of us will always be first among equals. The upcoming gathering at Dale's castle gives me the chance to ensure that I am the one with the king's favor. Ooh, this is a pretty big one here, right? We vassals should work together. We do get befriending fellow vassals. Um, I will illustrate that God already favors me. Learning challenge. Not very high chance of success. As a smooth talker, this should be easy. 60% chance that we win this one and get a bit of prestige. And, did we get it? Yeah, very good. I become friendly with the king. So that is that. My king, King Leon of Lotharinga. Right, he's not that powerful anymore, I think. Nope, we might actually win him or defeat him if we wanted to. Yep, he's inferior right now. If we go with an independence war now, we could actually win this one and thus become an independent... Well... Not really kingdom, but an independent count there, or a uh, duke in the middle of Europe. But for now, let's not do this. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We got another perk. Um, you can use the buy claim interaction on our last 
step towards the scholar, which gives me another permanent plus five learning and development growth of plus 15% for my counties. Really cool. And let's just see. I think, yeah, we do have enough money and stuff like that. First of all, what I want to do with that is I want to improve my army a bit, my personal army. So we do have the armored footmen. Let's increase their size to level three, which will be the highest size for them for now. Um, and in that case, I will also now improve my cities there. So for my own home city, we might actually go with, we do have the wooden barracks. We do have the stone quarries that we could upgrade now, but let's just build something else. I mean, we could also, right? We do have the money. Pretty close. We could actually go with another holding if we want to do. Huh. That might be worth something. Or we just upgrade another structure. What, what would we have here? Let's just see. Pastoral lands gives me a bit of money there again. Money is always good. My daughter. We got a daughter. And Fauster is definitely not a name that I want to have my daughter for. Elizabeth. Elizabeth is fine on that. And a shady discussion. I'm passing through the castle gardens for a morning walk when a soft breeze carries the voices of Antonio and Margaret to my ear. Once again, it's Margaret. And the two courtiers are talking to each other in secluded spot nearby. I'm frequently glancing around to make sure nobody's listening. I must warn Antonio. They're talking about him and he is... is isn't he the guy of Strasbourg? No, of Mulhouse, okay. I must warn him. Um, I must know they're hiding, whatever the cost. I'm sure it's probably nothing important. If only I could get a bit closer. This is a, an intrigue challenge. And we lost. Okay, they spot me. We lost some prestige there. Not the smartest decision, I think. All right, in Furstenberg, we still have low control. So it's not increasing really, right? Nope, it's not. So we still need to do something about this. We do need to get our marshal up. He is increasing control in Hohenberg right now, where we already have a nice control rating. So in that case, let's go for first and back now. Because the control there is way too weak and we're not getting anything out of it for now. Right, and Strasbourg is actually belonging to the Count Hugo of Strasbourg. We could, of course, say, let's get rid of his titles there. No, he can stay Count of, uh, or, well, Mayor of Strasbourg because he's still paying me taxes and he's continuing building then the holdings there. So that's fine for me. Right, so let's just see. Zurich, we got Zurich. Oh, Zurich, yep. As we can see, has three holdings, which is pretty cool. So it's probably, oh no, Jur is actually more powerful at the moment. Right. And once again, the Staring at Stars event is happening for the second time now. So my bishop does not, not improve, uh, improve. So what do we want to do here? I will find my answers in the heavens. Um, this would give us once again the insight into the heavens, which gives me some stewardship, prestige and learning. Or I could go with 250 piety right away. Um, and we would gain the earthly focus um, for more piety. But let's go with, I found my answers in the heavens. This will also improve our tax income the long term wise. And we are only 58. So I think we are going to live for quite some time there still. And we finally get the scholar. So we are now the scholar. Finally um, increased learning and development as well. And now we would go with the whole of the body. In that case, healthy. Um, so this will prolong our life then. So it's just right on time. We are getting older. And so we should study also our body a bit more. Or, well, improve it, that is. Now, and since we have acquired so much stress, we do have an action here. Work off some stress that we could do. You will lose some stress. You gain sweaty stench for one year. The general opinion is minus five. But still, it's going to work for us. And let's do this, working off some stress there. Um... As I finish yet another lap around my castle, I can already feel my worries dripping off me together with the sweat. Some people say I run from my problems, but I say I run towards solutions. That is the right, <laughs> right attitude. And yeah, this is because we have the athletic trait. This is possible. And we lose 24 stre uh, stress. I know you're a dedicated servant of the Lord. I therefore hope you will look in my in sympathy on the fact that our duty to you weighs down our ability to do God's work. Perhaps some of your heavy ob obligations may be waived. And my goal is God's goal. We get 100 piety, but we lose some taxes. 
and focus your manpower elsewhere. You gain praying for peace. Levy size is minus 10%. And I'm doing God's work. Oh. The Theocracy Vassal Tax is uh, minus 20. That shouldn't be that much. Nope. Right. So that is fine. And we do get lots of piety that we could then use once again on some money from the Pope. If we want that. Vittorio, he could marry now. He kind of... What? My Vittorio, 36. Simon Di Stazzone, he's got it. Um, And who's that? <laughs> Vittorio is my grandson. He has no wife at the moment. My grandson... Hmm only older ones here for the genius that is not worth it then um let's just see if we do get a nice alliance out of it perhaps doesn't look like it he's a nobody basically he's just so far away from anything huh i i honestly don't care about him that much we might just have well revelance claims get a few claims there on something on shoe but these claims are not really worth it And as we can see for Furstenberg, we also get the control now back up. And that means also that we get a bit of taxes and a bit of levies here as well. So it was zero before and now this is increasing as well, going right for our domain. And now that we have so much gold and prestige available, let's just have a look if we don't want to upgrade more counties and, well, properly manage our realm there. Stay tuned.